Welcome to Haslip Cycle Works. And if you've been following along on this build in our previous episode, you know that we ran into a little issue on Project Go Kart. Our goal in this episode is to correct that interference issue and continue our progress. And hopefully by the end of the episode, get this thing down on the ground so we can check its stance. So after doing some measuring, I think I've come up with a good solution. What we really need to do is lift the motor and along with it, the torque converter back plate up one inch. And the quickest and e well, the best way I could figure to do that is to take a piece of one by one square stock, square tubing, cut it to the correct length and pop a couple holes in it for the bolts for the motor to go through. And I've also purchased longer bolts to bolt through the motor, the spacer and the engine plate. So let's get to uh, making our spacers. We've got our spacing on our motor figured out and straight. Next thing we got to worry about is that oil dipstick right there is causing some interference. So I'm simply going to take that off the motor and put it up against the belt grinder and take off as much as we can without going all the way through it. Got it cleaned up. Hopefully that's enough. We'll go test fit it. I also went ahead and cut the dipstick portion off just because if we're not gonna use it, we don't want an extra bit of plastic hanging down in the motor that could possibly break off and cause issues down the road. And there is enough left that if you had to take this one out for whatever reason, then uh, you could still grab onto it and pull it out of the motor. So let's go test fit it and see if we need to trim it back anymore. Our oil fill dipstick cap shaving worked perfect. Fits in there just right. I snug down the bolts for the back plate for the torque converter. We look good there. We just barely touch the heat shield. Just right there which isn't a big deal, but everything else lines up really well. No interference, and we have enough room between our sprockets to put our chain. I did snug up the bolts for the engine, slid it all the way forward and tighten those down so we can get a better feel for the alignment of everything. What I wanna go ahead and do now is swap the sprocket that's on the torque converter from the 40 series chain sprocket to the 35 series chain sprocket. I'll show you how we do that right now.
What I want to do is center the axle between the bearing carriers. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the wheels off each side and we're going to tighten down the hardware for the bearing carriers. And we'll slide the axle back and forth. We'll use a tape measure and measure from the outside of the bearing carrier to the end of the axle. Once it's equal on both sides, we'll tighten down a couple set screws and put a couple axle collars in place so it doesn't move. And then uh, I think we can get her on the ground and see how she's going to sit. Well, got the go-kart down off the sawhorses. She's sitting on her own tires now. She's definitely lifted compared to stock, and she's got a much wider track than stock as well. So I'm going to quit talking and show you what it looks like. The next thing that I want to do is get our steering hooked up and I've got our tie rod kit for both sides of the steering. One of which I knew was going to be a little long so I know I'm going to have to cut it and weld it back together. But I neglected to get the hardware to bolt the tie rods to the spindles and the steering rod. So yeah, how to do that in the next episode. <laughs> so unfortunately, that's as far as we can go in this episode. I've got to get the hardware for the steering. I've got to order the hydraulic brake caliper. And I need to measure and order the hydraulic line for the brakes. So I'm going to call this one here. We're done for now. Got to get some more parts. Hopefully you're enjoying this go-kart content. Until next time, guys, get up, get out there, and do it.